From classic Smith & Wesson pistols to some pretty impressive handguns, here are the 10 most powerful pistols in the world. Number 10, Thunder Pistol. Coming in at number 10 on the list is something called the Thunder Pistol. This was designed by a company out of Logan, Utah by a man named Janos Lakatos. And let me tell you, it is a destroyer. It was first revealed at the 2004 SHOT show to an incredibly enthusiastic crowd of gun lovers. It is not currently in production, but it is an impressive prototype that is one of the most powerful pistols in the world. It's a large caliber, single shot pistol with a massive 13.2 inch barrel and an outstanding weight of 12 pounds. To put that in perspective, most chainsaws weigh about 12 pounds. You better hope your wrist strength is on point if you'll be firing this weapon. This is one of the only pistols in the world that fires a 50 cal BMG cartridge. There's a reason it only comes with a single shot. These bullets are huge and are actually used by snipers who hold long distance records for the most accurate shots from ridiculously far distances. The enormous case of the bullet is 3.91 inches and it fires a .50 caliber FMJ, also known as a full metal jacket. The muzzle velocity on this monster is roughly 3,000 feet a second. Try to stop that. Number nine. Smith & Wesson 500. Smith & Wesson goes back a long time. They've been making guns since far before you or I were ever born. And with that degree of expertise, it's no surprise that Smith & Wesson have a weapon on the list of the most powerful pistols in the world. The Smith & Wesson 500 is a double action Magnum revolver built on an X-frame that fires .500 S&W Magnum cartridges. This is a hand cannon. The ammunition was not even invented until 2003, which now comes with a case length of 1.625 inches and has to use large rifle primers just to fire the 50 cal bullets. The weight of each round is roughly 500 grains and the bullets are fired at a muzzle velocity of around 2,000 feet a second. That will put a hole in you. These guns are five round weapons. This means the cylinder will hold five rounds of extremely deadly ammunition. The barrel alone weighs 69.1 ounces. Imagine missing with this monstrous weapon. I mean, you could probably hunt an elk with this handgun alone. Who needs aim? And now for number eight. But first, let me know if you have any of these pistols. Which one do you like the most? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Number eight, Magnum Research BFR. BFR stands for Biggest Finest Revolver, or so they say. This gun is made by Magnum Research, and as you can imagine, they kind of know what they're doing when it comes to Magnums. This particular gun, known primarily as the BFR, is a super powerful Magnum revolver that can be chambered with a multitude of different ammunition, from .450 Marlin ammo to casual .480 Ruger ammo. The design of this pistol is as a hunting handgun, but you could probably shoot down a rocket with it if you really wanted to. The pistol is made from stainless steel, it has a five shot cylinder and it comes in a few different models, each with a unique barrel length. The biggest barrel is 10 inches with a weight of around 85 ounces. These guns are recognizable for their hardwood grips and their devastating power. When you fire a .458 caliber bullet, the muzzle velocity is around 2000 feet a second. Not only that, but the muzzle energy is around 3000 foot pounds, but that is only lightweight. The heaviest load for this handgun, which is a .429 caliber bullet, gives you a firing velocity of around 3,000 feet a second with 2,665 foot-pounds of energy. Number seven, Freedom Arms Model 83. Not many people have heard of the Model 83, but let me tell you, this is a deadly cannon small enough to fit in your pocket. The Model 83 is developed by Freedom Arms and constructed from tough stainless steel. Like many other pistols on the list, this is a five-shot cylinder. But unlike some of the messy cannons we've already talked about, the Model 83 gives you an intense amount of accuracy. This is a brutal pistol loved by sharpshooters. You can get it with a 10 inch barrel, adjustable sights, and beautiful hardwood grips. The best thing about the Model 83 is its look. This baby looks like a classic cowboy six shooter. It even uses older 457 caliber bullets, which it fires at a muzzle velocity of around 1400 feet a second. While that may not seem like a lot, I guarantee you will notice the explosive power of the pistol if you ever fire it. 
This is one of those pistols that kicks back and breaks your nose if you're not careful. We recommend being an experienced shooter before trying this one out at the range. Number six, Thompson Center Encore Pro Hunter. Here is another beast of a pistol. Thompson Center has made their Encore Pro Hunter pistol as a break action handgun that fires a single shot. It's too big for a cylinder. Normally, this pistol would be chambered with either a 223 Remington or a 308 Winchester cartridge. However, it can be fitted with aftermarket barrels, and it suddenly becomes capable of firing massive cartridges, like the .300 Winchester Magnum or the .50 Alaskan. Basically, you can upgrade this gun like you would in a video game to shoot even deadlier bullets. Many of the pistols on our list come with a maximum barrel of 10 inches. This monstrosity comes with a barrel that's 15 inches and weighs 72 ounces. That's longer than my entire hand. While this pistol is advertised as a big game hunter, something tells us there's no game big enough to put up a fight against this pistol. The thing can generate 4,525 foot-pounds of force when a normal bullet leaves the barrel. If you manage to find a giant bullet that's a 500 grain, we're talking about forces like 5,336 foot-pounds. Number five, Taurus Raging Bull. Any pistol named Raging Bull has got to do some damage. This is the Taurus 454 Raging Bull, which is a double action Magnum revolver chambered to take 454 Casul cartridges. This is another one of the sharpshooter's favorites. It has a five shot cylinder and a small six and a half inch ported barrel for reduced recoil and maximum precision. Plus it has a rubber grip that absorbs recoil to make you even more accurate with your shots. Oh, and it does some devastating damage to whatever it hits. Being a handgun and still firing 454 Casul cartridges is a feat in and of itself, and it would explain why the Raging Bull is recommended for hunting the biggest and most dangerous species of game in North America. What makes the 454 Castle such a dramatic cartridge to fire from a handgun? Well, it was unveiled in 1959 in an issue of Guns and Ammo, and it showcased to the world a lengthened version of a typical 45 Colt casing only with a rimmed, straight-walled cartridge that employed rifle primer to fire a 452 bullet. And even though the Raging Bull fires these exact bullets at roughly only 1,900 feet a second, they're still enough to stop a buffalo dead in its tracks. Number four, Desert Eagle Mark 19. Everyone is familiar with the Desert Eagle. Even if you don't fire guns, you know what a Desert Eagle is. This is arguably the most infamous handgun in the universe, and there are lots of different ones to choose from, and they aren't all the same. Today, we're looking at the Desert Eagle Mark 19, which is not the most powerful gun to be sure, nor is it even really a pistol, more of a handgun since it comes with a magazine. However, the Desert Eagle 19 does fire the biggest centerfire handgun cartridge of any semi-automatic handgun that is magazine-fed. This baby fires the enormous .50 AE cartridge, and that earns it a place at the top of any list. The barrel is six inches, the magazine capacity is seven rounds, and the full weight is a mere 72 ounces. This is actually pretty reasonable for such a monstrous weapon. It uses the same kind of gas-operated piston mechanism that an AK-47 uses. That's how you know it's tough. It even uses locking lugs, just like the ones on an AR-15 or an M16. To give you an idea, this deadly Desert Eagle fires a 300 grain projectile at around 1,475 feet per second, with 1,449 foot-pounds of devastating energy. I would not want to get hit by one of these stray bullets. Number three, Ruger Super Red Hawk. We're gonna take it down a notch for the Ruger Super Red Hawk. Yes, this is an incredibly powerful pistol and one of the most powerful in the world, but it's also a pretty cool gun. It's designed much more for performance than for raw stopping power. It fires a 480 Ruger cartridge from its seven and a half inch barrel at roughly 1,350 feet per second for 1,315 foot-pounds of energy. And while this is a pretty low amount of energy compared to many of the other pistols on this list, this is a legitimate five-shot pistol, and it only weighs 53 ounces and would make any cowboy an extremely happy fella. This is a very nice medium-range weapon that sits somewhere between a 44 Magnum and a 454 Casul. It has very low recoil, it looks absolutely gorgeous, and it is lightweight enough for you to do the finger spin thing like John Wayne does in the movies. Number two. Smith & Wesson 460XVR. Smith & Wesson holds the title on just about every powerful pistol ever made. All of their guns are at the top when it comes to foot-pounds of force. 
This particular model of the Smith & Wesson is known as the 460 XVR, where XVR stands for Extreme Velocity Revolver. If that doesn't sound like one of the most powerful pistols on Earth, I don't know what would. This thing is double action, it's built on Smith & Wesson's infamous X-Frame, which happens to be the company's largest size of frame, and it's chambered to take a 460 cartridge, but can also fire a 45 long Colt or a 454 Castle cartridge. Yes, this is a hunting pistol. Its giant 8.38 inch barrel is ported to reduce the recoil, while the adjustable sights help you narrow in on your target. You get five shots, and I guarantee your animal will not see them coming. This gun fires some of the fastest handgun cartridges known to man. The 460 XVR fires a unique type of ammunition, designed by Smith & Wesson in conjunction with Hornady, a notorious ammunition manufacturer. The weapon fires these deadly 452 bullets at around 2,300 feet per second. Number one, Smith & Wesson Model 29. Still the champion, number one on the list today is the Dirty Harry, also known as the Smith & Wesson Model 29. This 44 caliber Magnum revolver was undoubtedly the most popular handgun ever designed back in its day. It became incredibly famous back in 1971 when Clint Eastwood started firing this baby off on the big screen, and it has not failed in popularity since. More powerful handguns have been made, and Smith & Wesson still create the most devastating handguns around. Their Model 500 is currently the most powerful pistol in the world, but the Dirty Harry will always be number one in our books. This is an iconic pistol that will never lose its flavor. Sure, it only fires around 900 foot-pounds of muzzle energy, unlike the Model 500's 2,600 foot-pounds, but we love the Dirty Harry nonetheless for its classic brutality and muscle. Which of these powerful handguns do you think is the most intense? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.